Hi everyone welcome back to Join Coder. In this video, I'll walk you through the customer role of our Coffee POS system. If you're new here I've already shared the features of admin, cashier and chef roles in the previous videos. I also post free source code project demos and tutorials. Especially helpful for beginners, so if you're learning to code, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Alright let's get started. Now I'll log in as a customer. Once logged in you'll see an address box. If you're a new customer or haven't filled in your address yet, you can either fill in your address now or skip it for later, but remember to place an order. The address is required on the homepage. If there are any reviews or rating you'll see them in Carousel. Let's go to the menu page. Here customers can search products by name. For example I'll type Mocha and we can see the matching items. You can also filter products by category, by selecting one from the drop-down. Let's take a closer look at a product card. You'll see the product name price, available sizes and an optional note field. This is the original price, but now let me switch to the admin side. and add a discount to one item. I'll choose brownie cake and apply a 2% discount from July 1st to July 31st. Now let's switch back to the customer side and log in again. You'll notice the homepage text updates when there's a discount. Let's see the brownie cake again and now you'll clearly see both the original price and the discounted. Let's add it to the cart since the cake has only one size. There's no need to choose. If you want to add a note, you can type it here I'll add one now. However we get an alert. That's because this customer hasn't added an address yet. For online orders, the customer must fill in the location before placing an order. Also here's something I discovered while making this video. You should make sure, the customer's address matches one that exists in the system. If the location doesn't exist, the order should not be allowed. Please make sure to handle that in your project. After filling in the address, let's add the item to the cart again. Now you'll see a view cart button appear. This only shows when there are items in the cart. In the cart you'll see the product image name size. Original price discounted price. Quantity and subtotal. You can increase or decrease the quantity. Go back to the menu to add more items, or remove any item by clicking the delete icon. In the payment form here you'll see a tax fee, delivery fee subtotal, and the final total amount. Click confirm payment to submit the order. Once the order is placed, the cart will be cleared and the view cart button will disappear. To check your order history, click on view your order you'll see full order details here. Next is the about page, which shows the coffee shop's history and location. You can customize this later based on your project. Then there's a contact form, where customers can send messages to the shop, for any issues feedback or questions. Just write your message and click send. Now let's check the review page. Here customers can leave reviews for the shop. Maintain a good impression. We're only showing reviews with 3 stars and above publicly. But don't worry, the shop owner can still view all reviews in their reports. Including the lower ones. We have the profile page nothing special here. Just basic profile info. And that's it for the customer role of our Coffee POS system. If you want to know how to set up this project, please check my previous video for full instructions. This completes our coffee shop project. In the next video I'll show you how to upload this project to GitHub. If you're a beginner, I hope you've learned something useful from my channel. And I wish you success in your coding journey.
Let's learn and grow together. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.